Okay, this is like kind of a second part of uh, some tips with the MFB Dominion 1. If you saw the first part, I've still got my LFO2 going into the external in for a fourth oscillator. Um, I've taken the second oscillator out of the mix, so essentially I've got three oscillators. Um, because I've got the ring mod on here, and I want just the pitch on here to change the ring mod effect rather than change the pitch of the output in the mixer. So what I've done, what I really want to show you is the how the velocity settings can change everything. What I've done is I've put I've put an arpeggiator in. Um and when I put them in, I hit some keys hard, some keys soft. So hopefully, I haven't actually... I've tried it out before, but I haven't tried it in this sequence. Hopefully when I start changing the different things that are affected by velocity, we start hearing, you know, all sorts of things you do. And obviously it doesn't have to be from the arpeggiator. You could sequence it from your door and really fine-tune you know, the velocity amounts to exactly how you want it to affect certain parameters. But you've got quite a lot of parameters to affect. So you've got the VCA, which is the, the level, VCF, which is the filter, the resonance of the filter, the contour of the filter envelope. That's the contour amount. So on zero, the envelope doesn't do anything. Full on, it, it totally controls the filter. To the point, I don't think moving the cutoff does anything. Um, now you've got LFO, but that's LFO 1, 2 and 3 can be affected, their speed, by velocity. And when you go on to ADSR, that's ADSR 1 and 2 and AD 3 can all be affected with velocity. Now I haven't actually got things assigned. So if I assign... Just hear it. So, there obviously will be things that will make quite a bit of effect because when I use the velocity to affect LFO2, that's being an oscillator at the moment, so that will affect the pitch. Anyway, it's just what happens. We'll start with VCA, then we'll go around. Actually, I won't... Well, I'll, I'll do VCA, but I'll, I'll keep it quite subtle because I want to hear the other effects rather than just volume. So you can hear which ones I hit hard and which one's it soft, but it's bipolar, so it goes plus and minus, so you can go either way. And obviously at the extremes, it completely shuts it off. other options. I haven't actually noticed that before. Uh, when I press the other option in the filter section, I get oscillator 2. <laughs> I 
have to get the manual. I've no idea what these are referring to. change of those after looking to that. There's still things you keep finding out going, what the hell's that? <laughs> Sometimes it's just quirks. <laughs> you just think, well that's a bit weird, but there it is. Okay, type resonance. So straight away, just velocity that's modulating all of these things, we're starting to get quite a lot of that quite a lot of weird stuff going on. This is LFOs. The first dot, LFO1. Second dot, LFO2. Then LFO3. Um, I think LFO1's got a bit of filter modulation. LFO2's my, essentially my third oscillator. LFO3 is this one, which I don't think is affecting anything, I'm not sure. So I knew that would affect pitch. Uh, I'm just wondering if I could tune it to anything useful. just for detuning. Pitch of two, which isn't in a mix, but that's affecting the ring rod. I forgot to mention VCO actually. VCO, I think that's the pitch, or well, it might be the waveform modulation. It might be the modulation. Yeah, let's try it. ADSR actually affects the speed of the 
of health going through the cycle. So you can slow it down or speed it up, depending on velocity. So you can see just from my uh, basic arpeggiator, I've got quite a bit of madness going on. And obviously it's completely different depending what you've got things set to. You know, depending what you've got your LFOs affecting, it's, it's just going to change every time you do a patch. So it's worth experimenting. Once you've done a patch on here, go into velocity settings and see how you can make everything even more random and modulatable. I mean, this is a bit extreme. I easy to get carried away but it just it does just open up all sorts of weird things especially as uh, sequencing this is very limited there's no CC values on anything really apart from the basic note on note off after touch velocity um, modulation and pitch bend I think that's the only things you can um, sequence from external gear so it's really limited so this will come in useful because velocity is one thing you can modulate
So you have to sort of think differently how you can get desired results. I mean, you could, so you wouldn't necessarily have to have the VCA and the BCF controlled by velocity, just other things. So it's, it's a weird way of working, but it does throw up some sort of weird sort of things you wouldn't expect. So there you go.